Ever wonder why your phone says rain is imminent, but your friend's app cheerfully predicts sunshine and clear skies? It's a common scenario and a frustrating one. You're trying to plan your day, maybe decide whether to bring an umbrella or sunglasses, and your trusty weather app is giving you conflicting information. You're about to find out the surprising reasons behind these discrepancies. We're going to pull back the curtain and reveal the hidden truth about how your weather app actually works. You check your weather app every morning, perhaps even before you get out of bed. It's become an ingrained part of our daily routine, a quick glance to prepare ourselves for what the day holds. But have you ever stopped to consider where that little rain icon or that sunny cloud actually comes from? What's the journey that weather data takes before it lands on your phone screen? Get ready, because I'm about to blow your mind about how weather forecasts actually work and why they're not always as accurate as we'd like them to be. It's a fascinating blend of science, technology, and a little bit of educated guesswork. Here's the wild part. Almost every weather app out there, regardless of its sleek design or catchy name, pulls its core data from the same handful of fundamental sources. They're all tapping into the same well of information. We're talking about the big players, like government weather agencies such as NOAA in the United States, or equivalent organizations in other countries around the world. These are the institutions dedicated to collecting and disseminating weather data on a massive scale. Then there are the giant computer models, incredibly complex simulations that crunch vast amounts of data to predict future weather patterns. These models are constantly being refined and improved, but they're still just models and therefore imperfect. And let's not forget the thousands upon thousands of weather stations scattered around the globe diligently collecting real-time data on temperature, wind speed, precipitation, and a whole host of other meteorological variables. But, and it's a big but, here's where things get interesting. Each app takes that same raw data and runs it through its own secret sauce, a proprietary set of algorithms and formulas that interpret the data and generate a forecast. So why, if they're all using the same basic ingredients, do forecasts differ, sometimes wildly, what accounts for the discrepancies that leave us scratching our heads and wondering which app to trust? Some apps place a greater emphasis on satellite data, relying on the big picture view from space to track storm systems and identify developing weather patterns. They prioritize the broad overview, while others lean more heavily on data from ground stations, trusting the on-the-ground measurements to provide a more localized and accurate assessment of current conditions. And believe it or not, some apps even incorporate crowdsourced reports from users like you. These apps allow users to submit real-time weather observations, adding another layer of data to the mix. That's precisely why one app might confidently declare a 60% chance of rain, painting a rather gloomy picture for your afternoon plans. While another, using a slightly different algorithm and weighting the data differently, says there's only a 30% chance, suggesting you might be able to leave the umbrella at home. It's like a chef using the same basic ingredients, flour, sugar, eggs, but creating totally different meals based on their own unique recipes and techniques. And guess what else? Despite the rise of sophisticated algorithms and automated forecasts, real live human meteorologists are still very much in the mix, playing a crucial role in refining and interpreting the data. They review and tweak those computer-generated forecasts every single day, using their expertise and experience to make adjustments based on local conditions and emerging weather patterns. Here's the kicker. Even with all this technology and human expertise, weather apps are only about 70% accurate when you look beyond three days out. The further into the future you try to predict, the less reliable the forecast becomes. By day seven, when you're planning your weekend activities a week in advance, you might as well just flip a coin. Your chances of getting an accurate forecast are about the same. So with all these different algorithms and data weightings, will three different weather apps ever show the exact same forecast for the same location and time? Almost never. It's a rare alignment of the stars, a statistical anomaly. So next time you check your weather app, remember, it's just one company's best guess, their most informed prediction about what the future holds. It's not a guarantee, it's just a probability. Ultimately, Mother Nature always gets the final vote. She's the one calling the shots and our weather apps are just trying to interpret her signals. If this blew your mind and made you rethink your relationship with your weather app, hit that subscribe button for Bet You Didn't Know. We've got plenty more surprising facts where that came from. And tell us in the comments below, which weather app do you trust the most?
Or are you a multi-app user hedging your bets with a variety of forecasts? We want to know.